Hey guys, welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. This is Raja, and you know I just always wanted want to make some videos uh, which are really entertaining and which will be fun as well as learning, uh, which from where we can learn while uh, some fun. So I always want to use some fun keyboards or fun things or fun noises or laughing or whatever. But I feel like I'm making really boring videos. I'm not sure, but. If you guys really feel bored while making my while watching my videos or feel entertained, whatever, just let me know. It will help me to make my videos uh, more useful for you. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna learn how we can find all the game objects or find any game object which has a tag attached, which has a specific tag, tag attached. Now, some videos. Uh, going back to some videos, we have learned how we can find if tag is attached to the game object with which the script is attached. Now, if we have so many objects here and from there we want to find if any of them had, has one tag attached, now how we can find that? Let's create a 3D object quad and we're going to duplicate that a lot of times. Duplicate that, place it somewhere else. Again, uh, duplicate that, place it somewhere else. Again, duplicate that, place it somewhere else. And for the last time, duplicate that, place it somewhere else. Now, suppose we have so many objects. Now, from this game objects, we're going to find, suppose, a game object which has a specific tag attached. Now, how can we do that among all these objects? That's what we're going to learn in this video. So from here, suppose I want to select this object and create a new tag. Uh, so create to create a new tag, you just click on this plus button here. Click on this and for the new tag, I'm going to name it Raja. <laughs> Dangerous tag. So now, uh, again, we're going to select this game object and from tag, we're going to select Raja. So now the tag Raja is attached to this game object. Now, we have a script attached. We have a script attached to this game object. From this game object, we're gonna search for all the objects in our game, and we will find this object which has this Raja tag attached, and we're gonna destroy that. We're gonna destroy Raja or whatever. Okay. So how can we do that? So just open the script, and from here we have something. We can use something. Uh, we can use a specific function which is called game object dot find with tag. So this function helps us to find a game object which has a specific tag attached with it. Now inside this function within codes, we want to write what is the name of the tag that you want to find. Now we want to find the tag Raja. So just close it. Now, suppose this game object is finding this tag named Raja. Now, what do we do with that? We don't have access to that game object. We are just searching. If we want to destroy that game object or do something with that game object, then after searching and finding it, we have to store it in some other game objects. So how do we do that? So in order to do that, we create another game object here. Suppose you want to create a game object named Raja. And inside Raja, okay, and inside Raja, I store this game object which we find from the hierarchy or from the hierarchy of game objects. So from our game, we find an object which has a tag Raja attached to it. And then we store that game object inside Raja. And finally, we want to destroy Raja. Okay? So now what happens is now it finds for the game object which is a tag attached Raja. Then it finds that and then it destroys that. Okay? So if I go ahead and now remember, this is the keyword which has a Raja tag attached to it. So this is going to get destroyed. Now if I run this game, 3, 2, 1, go. As you can see, this game object got destroyed. So this is how from, uh, from our whole game, from the hierarchy of all the game objects, we can find a particular game object which is a particular tag attached. 
this is going to be very very useful while doing a lot of tasks so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something thank you very very much for sticking with me thank you very much for supporting me and have a great day in the next video we'll learn how we can find a lot of game objects with the same tag attached and we can destroy a lot of them okay so see you in the next video